Thanks to auditory memory, there are a few sounds in life you recognize the instant you hear them, such as the ice cream man, a home run, and there's this one, tripping a breaker. It's not just the sound, you're also standing there in the dark, right? Well, tripping a breaker or blowing a fuse is going to happen. You need to know where the trouble is and how to fix it, so let's take a look at fuses and breakers. Since locations of exterior fuses and breakers vary from coach to coach, it's best to get familiar with the exact locations of your coach so you know where to check. It's important to remember your motorhome has both a 12 volt power source, that is DC power. The 12 volt system is made up of the batteries that power and run your motorhome, both under the hood and your house batteries, which happen to run almost every item in your motorhome, such as your house lights, water pump slides, and awnings. Your motorhome also has a 120 volt source, that is AC, just like in your home. This powers your refrigerator, ice maker, roof mounted air conditioner, TVs, DVD players, microwave oven, converter, and the water heater. This is the power you get from firing up the generator or plugging into shore power. When you are plugged in, the converter will do exactly that and convert 120 volt into 12 volts to run your 12 volt items and it charges your batteries. On units equipped with inverters, 12 volts will be converted to 120 volts so you can run all your goodies without being plugged in. If you lose power to outlets on an inverter circuit, check to see if the built-in inverter breaker needs to be reset. So let's say something running on DC power stops. Head back to the fuse box located under the bed. The fuses are an automotive blade style fuse. Everything on the panel is labeled. To find the bad fuse, you can use a test light to check or pull them out one by one. When replacing them, make sure you use the same amperage of fuse. For example, do not replace a 40 amp with a 15 amp or vice versa. If something running on AC power quits, head back to the breaker box. This is the load center and contains all your 120 volt house breakers. Just like in your home, you can see what breaker trick. Go ahead and reset it, but don't be fooled. Sometimes they all look fine. Say you're drying your hair or making some toast. If your dew is still wet and your toast is still bread, it may be your GFCI outlet, so you're gonna need to reset this. There are two buttons, test and reset. Simply press the reset button. Your generator also has a circuit breaker. If your generator stops running, locate the breaker on the generator and reset it. If that doesn't do the trick, find the bay with your house batteries. See this 100 amp breaker? If the tab is down, simply push it back up to reset it. This breaker also powers your leveling jacks. If your fuses or breakers continue to blow or trip, you're going to need to get your rod into a TMC service center to be checked out. You know, Tom, I've been thinking. I've been thinking about how ridiculous we look. I mean, come on, you're supposed to wear just the emblem, not the little grill. That's probably why this is so heavy. But more importantly, I've been thinking about fuses and breakers. Oh yeah, man, I know about fuses and breakers, but where's that pop in and out? Fuses and breakers are under the bed, under the hood, up over your head. You can find breakers in the storage bay. This is where they are in class C and A. So let's say something running on DC power stops. You need to strut back to the fuse box. Tom, hit me with some strut music. You wanna make sure your breakers are completely reset. For that, you need time. Push it down one time. Now push it up. Now clap your hands. All right, man, well, if you're done with your version of Breaker Talk, let me show you mine. Where did you get the dancers? And I'd probably tone down these lights a little bit before you trip a breaker. I'll reset it. We did it. Word.